Hey folks, today on TechMed TV, the Easy IO. Hey folks, welcome to TechMed TV. My name is Steve, and today we're going to talk about the Easy IO. Um, or actually, I'm going to do a demonstration <clears throat> of the Easy IO on a chicken leg. I haven't done this in a while. Used to when I taught. Uh, PALS, uh, Pediatric Advanced Life Support, during the uh, I.O. station, we would use turkey legs or chicken legs, and then we'd have the old school um, I.O. needles like the jam sheety and, and such, <clears throat> and we'd put those in and we'd hook up the IV fluids, except we'd put food coloring in them, uh, so then people could see just how, how well that does work, because a lot of people do have a concern. It's like, oh, there's no way you're putting that needle in the bone it can't get in as fast as an IV. Well, today you're gonna to see that it does. Um, of course, now we're using chicken legs, a little bit smart, smaller than a turkey leg, which is what I like to use, but it's just not late enough in the year yet for me to find turkey legs where I live. So we're gonna use the chicken legs, uh, but I still think you'll enjoy it. Now, a couple of things about the Easy IO. Um, it is an IO device, you know, it came out, I'm not even sure how many years ago, uh, but we've been using it pretty much since it came out. And it's a great tool. Uh, it, it's so much faster than trying to get a peripheral line when, you're, when you really need one. Um, where I work, this is, if we've got a full arrest, cardiac arrest, um, this is our first line uh, for, for vasculature access, for access to the vasculature system. It's just because it's just so fast and we can, we can get fluids going and if need be we can get medications going. And of course then there's the other thing <clears throat> that always goes along with that and people talk about, oh it's got to hurt. Well now I've not done it on myself and believe me folks I've been challenged to do it on myself and I've even thought about it, okay? But there's this thing that keeps nagging me in the back of my head called osteomyelitis. I don't want to, I don't even want to risk that, okay? So I don't recommend that you go out when you get your easy IO and you use each other as training buddies, okay? I don't recommend that at all. I just don't think that's, that's, a, that's a good move to, to make. This is something that's designed for somebody that's in... Um, in not great shape and you know in, in medically they're just they're they're in, in a bad way and we need to do something quickly to try to alleviate uh, them circling the drain and, and checking out on us okay but what I've heard as far as the pain is that uh, the insertion is not so bad okay the insertion hurts it's like a pinch from what I've been told now, when I've, um, they say when it really gets to hurting is when you start pushing the fluid to it. And I can kind of understand that. And, and with us, if, we're, if we start one of these in a conscious or semi-conscious patient, we're gonna give some lidocaine along with it that's in our protocol. So check with your protocol and see what your indications are to use this piece of equipment and what else are you supposed to do along with that. You know, if we're working a full arrest, we don't necessarily give the lidocaine through there because the, the pain at that point is not a concern. We're trying to get their heart started. Okay, we're trying to do something different. So with that being said, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna cover before we go into drilling this, um, this chicken leg. <clears throat> and I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Uh, if, I, if I do, if I can't remember what it is, then I'll pick it up on the back end after, after the uh, demonstration of the insertion. So anyway, here we go, let's do this. Oh, okay folks, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and do this. I think I've got everything together that I'm supposed to have um, to shoot this video. We've got the needle, we've got the driver, we've got a flush with the, uh, let me go ahead and flush with the pigtail on it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime that. Okay, we've got that primed. This is this. Now we'll see if this is gonna work. This is significantly smaller and I actually did not um, do not have one of the uh, small, well, get that off of there, needle cap. All right, and I'm just gonna go in here. Okay, I've got the bone. Now we're gonna drill, excuse me, we're gonna drive the needle in, being careful, we're gonna go straight down. All right, 
I think that's maybe got it. Don't know how far down I can go with this without going through it, but we'll take, take that off. Fix this in here. Go ahead and push the flush. All right, yeah, we're in. I can already see this is starting to ooze some stuff out. Let me see if I can draw back on it a little bit. Initially, when you do this, you draw back until you see marrow. And you guys can't see it, but this is turning pink, probably because I've already flushed a lot of the marrow through it. And it's actually coming through here on, on the bone. And I'll turn it here in just a second so you can see that. Got that off. I'm gonna reach over here and grab our fluids. Now what I've done is I've got some, some uh, blue fluids here that we'll use. And uh, actually it's just fluids that, some expired fluids. <clears throat> and uh, we'll hook this up. And the blue, you'll be able to see a little bit better how this is gonna work. Now of course, this needs to be on a pressure system. All right, you can see the blue going in. All right, and almost immediately, I'm gonna turn this around so you can get, maybe get a little bit better look at how this is coming out. Okay. Now you see how it's coming out there at the bone. Of course, this, is, this has been cut, so that's why you're, you're getting that. Okay, right there's where the bone has been cut. And that's how quickly it's going into the vasculature. As soon as I put pressure to this, then it starts to flow, okay? And you get the idea here. See what happens with that air bubble gets in there. But you can see that uh, that fluid's coming out pretty quick. So this is a viable, it's more than a viable way. Uh, it's absolutely the way to do this. And you can see how it's turned the tissue in here blue. Again, the reason it's coming out right there and not turning the rest of the chicken, the chicken leg blue is because of course the bone's been cut from where it's been butchered and placed in the package. So it's leaking, it's leaking out right there where it's cut and where the marrow would be. So, but anyway, you get the idea of how this works. Uh, these are awesome. I've used them many, many times. Uh, for the service that I work at, this is first line on a, uh, a full arrest, cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest. Uh, this is where we go. We don't spend time trying to find an IV anymore. We just go straight to this. So anyway, that's the uh, insertion for the easy IO. Quick and simple. Um, I kind of hope you kind of hope you enjoyed that and see that it is just as fast as, as IV when it comes to getting fluids in a patient. Okay, folks, that was it. That was the easy IO insertion into the chicken leg. Hope you all enjoyed that and got a little bit of something out of that. It didn't go exactly how I had planned it because what I initially wanted to do and what has happened in the past when we've used turkey legs, just too early in the season right now for me to find turkey legs right now where I live. Um, but usually what happens is we'll put the IO in and then we turn the fluids on and then the flesh will actually turn the color of whatever the fluids is or whatever the fluids are. Excuse my, my grammar. Uh, but whatever, you know, I use blue, we used to use green, and it's interesting to see that happen. What happened with this was that that chicken, that chicken leg, the way it was cut, had, had sliced off the end of the bone, and when I pushed the fluid uh, to do the, uh, the uh, flush to get the uh, marrow plug out of the needle, that just opened it on up and uh, push the marrow out and hollowed out the bone and the fluid just ran out there. But I turned it around so you could see it. So that kind of gives you an idea of how it works. Again, this is something that we use. This is first line. It works extraordinarily well. So check your local protocols, check with your medical director, see what, if you're not using this piece of equipment, do a, do a test and eval on this, do a T&E on this, um, get it done because it is a valuable piece of equipment. Um, it's, it's something that I've had great success with and everybody in my department has had great success with this when they've used it. So anyway, with that being said, that's all I've got for you this week. 
comments, concerns, questions, complaints, any of those, you put them in the comment section below and I will address them as best I can. Uh, also, I want to throw a shout out to Sam over at Prep Medic. You folks, if you're not familiar with, with Prep Medic, it's a YouTube channel that covers a little bit more in-depth EMS stuff than, than what I do. Uh, the, the two are kind of starting to meld on this channel as well a little bit with some of the things I'm going to be doing. but. He does some tactical stuff and he does some EMS stuff and it's like we've said, it's good to get your information from a myriad of sources and then you make your decision on what's going to work best for you. All right, but Sam over at Prep Medic, go check him out. He's got a great channel. Uh, he's a super great guy. And by the way, Sam, I'm calling you out. We've got to get together and make this uh, collaboration video. All right, we need to make that happen. We've been talking about it for a while. We've got to find a way to, uh, to get together somewhere between the two points where we live and see if we can't knock this out. Cause I think we're gonna, number one, we're gonna have a good time and we're gonna come out with some really good videos. I really think so. So, and thank you for the shout out you did on your channel for me uh, this past week. I really appreciate that. So anyway, folks, if you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button and right next to it's a little bell. Hit the bell and you'll be notified when a new video comes out. Don't forget, the end of this month, it's October now, we're gonna be at EMS World Expo 2018 in Nashville, Tennessee. Gonna be there all week. Gonna be in the exhibit hall. We're gonna be talking to attendees. We're gonna be talking to vendors. Gonna try to get some time with a keynote speaker. We'll see, see how that's gonna work. Hopefully we can make that happen. But anyway, that's all I've got for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Steve with TACMED TV telling you guys to stay safe.